be aware. Okay. All right. Good evening, everyone. It's 7 p.m. Got it. Hmm? It's 7 p.m. And welcome to the I'm ready about um what time? Hold on a second, hold on a second. We're good. Yeah, you're good. Okay, thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's seven o'clock and welcome to Staten Island Community Board two October meeting. As we always do, let's please stand and say the pledge. Here's the flag. Pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. Mrs. Clift, attendance and roll call, please. Okay, can you hear me? I can, can you hear me? Yes. Sure. Sean Abraham? AJ? Igor Baboshkin? Antoinette Rosano? Here. Uh, I'm here. Debbie Cognata, Dr. Cognata. Yeah. Uh, Robert Coligio? Here. Ben D'Amato? Here. Sandy DiGiapani? Zephyr Dumas, Julie Freeman, Roy Garlisi, yeah. Sal Genovese, Fred Ginta, yeah. Kang, Dr. Khalid, yes, I'm here. Michael Lanza, here. Diane McNamara? Here. Mendy Morosnik? Sorry, spherical region. Dr. Farrell? Here. Dr. Raju? Jerry Ruggiero? Here. Here. Dr. Seminara? Steven Zedarico? Steven Zaboinski? Present. Okay, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen. I did do an okay. All right, thank you. Can we um, also get the names of our of visitors and our elected officials and representatives that are here? Because I'm trying to see that if we have that from our screen. Denise Pacheco from Assembly Member Michael Riley's office. Welcome. Good evening, Denise. Good evening. Thank you for having us. Dylan Facella here from Councilman Borelli's office. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Hi, Amy Rose Napolitano here from Assemblyman Michael Tenusis's office. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Anyone else from elected officials? Um, Justin yes. Belusi from Councilmember Carr's office. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Lisa Thompson from District Attorney Mike McMahon's office, and I'm joined here by ADA Alda Prenga as well. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome. Good evening. Too. Thank you. Um, I also had an event um, that I wanted to mention. Can I do it at this time or later on? If you just bear with us a moment, because I want to just get the attendance and the roster and get on with the agenda, and then there'll be a moment for the elected officials to speak. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Donald DeRosa here from City Comptroller Brad Lander's office. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, okay. Ruben Sieber here from New York State Comptroller's office. Good evening, Ruben. Good evening. Okay. Um, acceptance of the proposed agenda that Debbie sent to us last week. Jerry seconds. David. Approved. Thank you. Any objections? Thank you. Acceptance of the September minute meeting minutes. Make a motion. Motion. Second. David. Fred. Thank you. Second. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get on with the office's report. Um, we did have a borough board meeting last week, um, last Wednesday, and I'll be. The meeting had a very short agenda. There was one item on the agenda, and that was with regard to community board one and the Lighthouse Point project. 
that's currently, that was, that is under construction in that project, in that board right by the waterfront. And apparently the contractor um, had gone bankrupt and they, the city and the community board and the uh, ED, DDC are trying to negotiate to get that project back on track again. So there was an item um, that was peculiar to the community board one. We discussed it, the developer was there, presentation was made, and um, that was basically what we had. That was it. That was the only item on the agenda. <clears throat> we did have, as you know, if you read in the paper, we did convene a meeting last week regarding the asylum uh, seekers and the homeless shelter down in Travis. Um, and we had, the meeting was well attended. We had over 200 people there. And as you read in the paper and watched on the news, um, and there were a lot of people, a lot of points were made, our elected officials presented their cases. The Travis group had also spoken and the city came to give us their presentation of what the plans are for that area. And I think for the most part, we managed to get the idea and the sense and the trend of, there's a real issue there, as you can see. Um, and there's gonna be more coming out about that in the news in the coming days, especially for Staten Island and the impact on our schools and our infrastructure and traffic and transportation and hospitals and all of the quality of life issues that the people that are in that town um, are experiencing and do need to have help and support from the federal government. Um, also, I was notified today that Jean Guerra, the uh, chair of the traffic, Travis Civic will be uh, stepping down tomorrow. He's gonna be retiring, I think, um, after all these years. Um, so I just thought I wanted to give a shout out to Jean. I, don't, I thought Jean would be here tonight to speak, but I don't see him on our list. Um, but we wanted to welcome and congratulate him on his next chapter. And I'm sure the board joins me. Gene's been with the, in that area many years and he's always been helpful and a friend to the board. And I know Debbie's helped to Travis Civic a lot over the years and all of their issues. So congratulations to Gene uh, from community board too. That's all I really had for the, for the, as far as I was concerned for the last month. If there's anyone else that wanted to say anything, Antoinette? Uh, no, Mr. Chairman, other than uh, Jean, we wish you well. We're going to miss you. Thank you. Thank Fred? you. Yeah, a couple of quick notes, uh, Robert. On yeah. Thursday, October 20th at 7 p.m., the Environmental Protection and Parks Committee will meet virtually to see a presentation on the Greenbelt Recreation Center. Mm -hmm. The agenda and Zoom link will be sent out shortly. Okay, please confirm that you will attend. Okay. There was an email sent out about that. I think Debbie sent one out to everybody. Okay, good. Also, I have uh, another note here that says, in response to the increased acts of violence in schools and to effective, effectively address the measures to keep our children as educators safe while on school grounds, Assemblyman Michael Tanusis and Michael Riley are part of the task force on our school Facing and security. The task force will hold a series of forums to seek written and oral testimony from educational professionals, mental health professionals, parents, law enforcement officials, and other community stakeholders for suggestions and solutions to improve safety and security across New York State. The testimony and feedback gathered at the event will assist the task force in compiling a report that will include a summary of findings and solutions. The task force invites you to participate at their regional forum on Thursday, October 20th from 6 to 8 at PS8 Lindenwood Road. If you can't make it, you can submit your testimony electronically by email to Michael M at NY assembly.gov. Thank, Thank you, Fred. Thank you very much. Third vice chair, Jerry Ruggiero. No report at this time. Robert, it's Denise from assembly member Riley's office. I just, I'm sorry to inter, um, interrupt. Mm -hmm. They gave the email incorrectly. Oh, okay. The, the, I don't know. Did he say Michael Riley? No, Riley at Riley M at nyassembly.gov. I am sorry you did it correctly. My right. apologies. That's okay. We're good. Okay. Treasurer Roy Garlisi. 
Yes, the treasure report is complete and on file at the board. And also the capital and expense budget meeting will be held on Monday, October 24th, 7 p.m. on the uh, board conference room at 900 South Avenue. Okay, thank you very much, Roy. Thank you. Okay, public session. We only had two people sign up to speak at the public session. Um, one of them was Gene, but I don't see him here. And the other one was Frank from DOB. And I don't see Frank here either. Hi, Frank I'm on. Okay, there you are, right, Frank. It's all yours, Frank. Go ahead. Okay. Two minutes. Sure. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, Frank Fontana, Department of Buildings. Um, just one quick announcement. We had the, um, in September, was the 90-day commission that was announced. Uh, so basically what that is, the 90-day commission that we... Uh, we work with the mayor's office, stakeholders, community groups, uh, industry, basically doing a top-down comprehensive review of the buildings department. Uh, um, and we're gonna be looking to see how we can improve customer service, remove any unnecessary um, regulations, complicated practices and processes to help promote growth. Um, so two immediate programs that came out of that initially was the uh, multiple projects, uh, most, multiple dwell, uh, major, major, development unit project, which will work with larger buildings. And also uh, the program with the best unit, um, they'll be working with the part, small business services. So we'll be guiding business owners on how to submit permits, any questions they have about ongoing projects. So um, I guess there'll be more to come in the next, uh, I guess the next two months or so once we uh, finalize that report. And then just lastly, it's the time of the year, um, it's getting cold out, which remind everybody to check your um, carbon monoxide and the uh, uh, smoke alarms, make sure the batteries are changed and up to date. Thank you. Thanks, Frank, thank you very much. Okay, Amy Rose. Hi, yes, um, Fred had actually already mentioned the event. I was gonna speak on the um, school safety and security event. So it's October 20th, um, 6.30 p.m. Um, and as he said, it'll be at public school eight at 112 Lindenwood Road. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. All right, that's all I have on the public session speakers. So with that, I'm going to close the public session and move on to our standing committee reports. And I don't know if Dr. Seminar is here for the aging committee. Once, twice, no, okay. Uh, capital expense, Roy, you've already given us your report and your documents are on file at the board office. If anyone wants to go inspect them, please feel free to do so. Uh, environmental protection. Steve Zotarico, is he here? Yes. Hi, Steve. Hello. Any, do you have anything you'd like to read? Well, we have a meeting in two weeks, and two uh, weeks. that's about it. You know, no, I'm two days, I'm sorry. Two uh, days, sorry. Thursday, yes. Yeah. Okay. Not much new. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Raju, health. He's not here. I don't see him. I know he had scheduled a meeting, but because of logistics and planning, the meeting was postponed. And I forget what the date was that it was rescheduled, um, but he is gonna chair a meeting on the health committee. Land use, David Santuro. Okay, hello everyone. <clears throat> so we actually have two land use items that we met on at the land use committee meeting on October 4th. Um, both are relatively uncontroversial and I'll state uh, ahead of the, our votes on both of them. We've received no complaints, no input, um, negative or positive, uh, from the community on either one of these two. Uh, and they both passed the committee uh, unanimously, 12 in favor, zero opposed. Um, so do we have Mr. Savino or Phil Rampula here? If not, I'll give a brief rundown of both projects and we'll take the votes. Okay, so I don't see either of them here. Okay, so the first issue, city planning application number N220431ZAR, affects 934 Tote Hill Road, block 902, lot 100, in the Special Natural Area District. The application seeks authorization pursuant to zoning resolution 105-421 to facilitate a new in-ground swimming pool at 934 Tote Hill Road in the Tote Hill neighborhood of Staten Island. Um, basically, they want to put a pool in the back of the property. There is a slight slope. Um, they want to also put in a concrete deck and extend the deck from the house uh, outside the basement and add a staircase. That was pretty much the entire application. Uh, as I mentioned, it, it passed 12 uh, in favor, none opposed, 
no community opposition, no community comments. Um, so unless anyone has any questions, we can go right to a roll call vote, Roseanne. David, I think, the, and the Civic supported this project also, they were, were correct, the Toad Hill Civic. Um, I don't, know if, I don't know if they supported yeah. it. They had no opposition to it. Dr. Khalid, did yeah, you I, support it? Yeah, no, everything is okay. There's okay. no, no complaint. So we are ready to move on with that. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Mark. Go ahead, David. Yeah, Roseanne, you want to call a roll call vote? Yes. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, Sean Abraham? Yes. AJ? Okay, Antoinette Bolzano? Yes. I'm a yes. Dr. Cognata? Dr. Cognata? All right, we'll circle that. Um, I see her. I see her video. Doctor, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs sideways. Oh, up. Okay, up. Okay. Thank you. It's a yes? <laughs> yes, it's a yes. Robert Colligio? Yes. Ben D'Amato? Yes. Uh, let's see. Roy Yes. 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 Uh, Fred Ginta? Yes. Dr. Khalid? Yes. Michael Lanza? Yes. Diane McNamara? Yes. Dr. Perel? Yes. Jerry Ruggiero? Yes. David Sinatoro? Yes. Uh, Steven Zadarico? Yes. And Steven Zabojski? Yeah. Okay, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16 in favor. Okay, the matter passes. Uh, Deb, if you by could the way, we have, by the applicant. We have 16 present tonight. So 16 in favor, not opposed. Right. Matter passes, Deb, if you could let the applicant know that the full board passed it, that'd be great. Yes, I always do. Thank you. And the second land use application number N230031ZAR affects 76 Cromwell Circle, Block 894, Lot 113, Special Natural Area District. The application seeks authorization to facilitate a new residential home with a rear patio, terrace, waterfall, in-ground pool, and four-car garage at 76 Cromwell Circle in the Toad Hill neighborhood of Staten Island. Uh, again, this was dealt with October 4th at the Land Use Committee meeting. Um, again, no community opposition. Um, the only one issue here was they, they needed to modify the topography uh, in order to add a pool. Everything else was not an issue. Um, so unless there are questions, we'll proceed to a vote on this one too, Rosa. Okay. Sean Abraham? Yes. Antoinette Bolzano? Yes. I'm a yes. Dr. Cognata? Yes. Robert Colligio? Yes. Ben D'Amato? Yes. Roy Garlisi? Yes. Fred Ginta? Yes. Dr. Khalid? Yes. Michael Lanza? Yes. Diane McNamara? Yes. Dr. Perel? Yes. Jerry Ruggiero? Yes. David Santoro? Yes. Steven Zadarico? Yes. Steven Zabwinski? Yes. Okay, so same 16 in favor. Okay, none opposed, the matter passes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. That concludes our business for land use. Thank you very much, David. Appreciate that. I just need to go back to the uh, public session for a moment. I missed Prince Kobina, outreach coordinator from CCRB, had signed up on our chat, but I missed that. Are you still here, sir? I'm still here, sir. Thank you. So um, my name is Prince Kobina. I'm the outreach coordinator from uh, CCRB, Savannah Complaint Review Board. Um, this base, uh, New York, the CCRB investigates 
mediate um, complaints of any police misconduct in uh, regards to uh, use of force, excessive uh, use of force, discourtesy, uh, use of abuse of authority, and offensive language, bias-based police profiling. Uh, basically, this, uh, like I said, this investigate and uh, take complaints about any type of police misconduct. I would just like to, um, you know, invite um, everyone to our next uh, public uh, board meeting, which is November 9th at uh, the, the Life Center, uh, uh, Central Life Center at 59 Wright Street, um, down in, uh, by Stapleton. As a public hearing, we just want everybody to come out um, just to um, to have a conversation about um, the community and the policing um, together. So I'd like to extend the invitation to everyone. I'll leave my contact information in the chat. For any, anybody like to reach, you can contact me and, uh, for any type of information or question. Thank you for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Back to the committees. Legislative and law. I don't know if Mendy's here. I haven't seen him. This is Cliff. Mendy's not here, correct? No. Traffic and trans. Jerry, anything? I have one uh, issue. Please. South Beach Civic Association requested a street direction conversion on Laconia Avenue from Berger Avenue to Delaware Avenue. Uh, the residents signed in favor of this request. I'm calling for a motion to forward this request to the DLT for a study and the study of the street direction conversion on Laconia Avenue to determine if it's feasible. Does anybody have any objections to this motion? If not, uh, heard. <laughs> if not, we will send it over to DOT. Thank That's you, Jerry. No. Thank you. Okay. Anything else, Jerry? That's it. Okay. That's it for now. Okay. Thank you. Youth Services, Sandy D. Trapani, he's not here tonight. Antoinette, right? There was nothing on youth services from your side. Right? No, <clears throat> no, Mr. Chairman. I think uh, we need to <clears throat> attend that meeting for sure in October at PSA. Okay. So um, we'll have representation there. All right, thank you. Okay, that completes the standing committee portion of our meeting. Uh, moving on to any old business. Not hearing or seeing any. We'll close that item out. Any new business? Fred? Yankees won. They did. Yeah. Yes, I, they did. Just now, like three minutes ago when, yeah. uh, when David was speaking. Yes, yes, they did. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Any other new business? I will close that item out and make a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. I Thank second. You. Thank you, Anthony. The meeting Thank is adjourned. You. Thank you, everyone. See you Thank soon. Thank you. you. Steve, are you still there? Yes, sir. You have my phone number, Steve? Yeah, uh, no, but uh, you got you have my email. Just email it to me. Uh, I want to talk to you. Okay. So I want to talk to you too. <laughs> and, and we're recording this in the same time too. So. Preferably, well, I'm a sergeant of arms, so I have to behave myself. That's correct. I didn't even have to tell you. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to send you an email with my phone number in it, okay? All right, good. We'll speak. All right. All right, ciao. All right, everybody. Have a good evening. Be safe. Thank okay, you. All right.